Welcome to Pet Problems Solved. I'm Dr. Jo Rigetti, Animal Behaviourist. Here we'll answer your pet behaviour questions and you'll probably meet quite a few of my pets too. If you have a dog who ignores you, I don't, <laughs> but if your dog ignores you, or you're wondering if your cat really loves you, we've got the answers for you here on Pet Problem Solved. Why does my cat meow all the time? Well, if you listen carefully, you'll hear my cat meowing in the background too. This is Mew, she's 20 years old, and she meows a lot to get attention, especially at night time. She's completely deaf and so she doesn't get feedback from her own meows. That's pretty natural at that age to go deaf. And we just encourage her by giving her attention when she's quiet. And that's the answer. If the meows are really annoying you, then perhaps reinforce quiet behavior. Here's Mew to see us all. Not bad for 20. But your cat could be meowing because they're not feeling very well, trying to get your attention that way. And numerous other reasons like demanding of food. So take a look at your cat's behavior. What do you do when they do this? What is it they're trying to get from you? That may give you some clues as to why they're meowing so much. But remember, if you don't want them meowing, then you mustn't reinforce that behavior with food or with your attention. Emma, who's in Sydney, has written to me asking, why does my dog ignore me after she's been away? She goes to visit my mum um, when I'm at work, if I have to go away for a few days. And when I come back, she really looks like she's ignoring me for a few days. Her name's Rosie and she's a beautiful two-year-old poodle cross. Well, Emma, Rosie is ignoring you probably because it's part of this mentality of living with a group of people and when you're excluded from a group you often just have to be a little bit watchful and wary to insert yourself back into that social grouping. This is what dogs are doing. They're just wondering what's been going on. Do they have to do anything to make you on side? How are you feeling? How should they react to you? And some dogs are over it in minutes and others take a little bit longer, perhaps days like your Rosie. So she's just a little watchful, wary. You can just encourage her to be her normal self, give her some space. You behave normally too. Um, perhaps your mother could even come over to your house if, if Rosie is more comfortable that way. Ask your mum how she goes when she's staying at her house. But overall, really, really nothing to worry about unless you see other signs of lethargy or ill health and then do talk to your vet. Amelia, who's 10, has written to me from Blackdown in Sydney about her cat, Kitty. Does my cat really love me? How can I tell? Well, Amelia, I'm sure your cat does enjoy your company. Cats can be a little bit less expressive with their affections than dogs, but if they're choosing to sit next to you, by the way, this is wildfire. Oh, although he looks very placid, is quite a wild boy at times. He enjoys his head rubbed, but if I tend to go to the other side of his body, he will start to attack me. So you can look at your cat spending time with you, hear them purring next to you, making eye contact with you, You'll see their ears twitch as you walk in a room. All those are signs that your cat enjoys being with you. And I'm sure your cat does love you. Do you know cats have 32 muscles in each ear, making them extremely flexible, ideal for hunting. Though the only hunting we want your cat to do is for their own food within your home. This episode is made possible by Pet Problem Solved. Check out our website petproblemsolved.com.au. I'm Dr. Joanne Rigetti, Animal Behaviourist, and I'm here to answer your pet behaviour questions. Edwina, who is in Boston in the USA, has written about her dog Buddy, who's a Boston Terrier. 
Edwina says, how can I stop my dog chasing birds? Is it possible? When he goes to the park, he likes to chase them all over the place. And sometimes I have difficulty getting him back. Okay, well, Edwina, for the bird's sake, I'd say it'd be probably wise to have Buddy on a, a lead, a leash while you're in the park. And that way, if you command him to come to you, he, he can't fail to obey because you can reel him in and reward him for coming to you. Um, as far as stopping dogs chasing birds, well, it is quite an instinctive drive in birds, that prey drive to go after something, and it's fun. And so it's very reinforcing, hence they'll do it again. So I would say, rather than let him chase birds, satisfy that chasing drive by letting him chase a ball or a frisbee or some, some other toy that he can play with. So if you do that under controlled circumstances and then control him, manage his behavior when the birds are around, he'll soon learn that it's actually more fun to play with you in the park than to chase the birds. But luckily for us, most birds get away. So for dogs, usually it's not too big an issue, but do take care and don't let any birds become hurt with your dog playing with them. If you would like your pet behavior question answered, send an email to info at petproblemsolve.com.au. For more pet information, check out our website, petproblemsolved.com.au. Look after your pets.